this is Mrs. Toth from Coloma Elementary. I hope you're having a great summer. I'm here to read one of my favorite picture books. It is The Super Red Racer by David Ramsey. Here we go. One Saturday morning, Junior woke up very early. He crept out of bed and down the stairs. He knew Saturday was the one day of the week his parents got to sleep in, so he was very quiet. He tiptoed into the kitchen and poured a big bowl of cereal. With breakfast in hand, he went to their big playroom, turned on his favorite TV station, and began watching his favorite show, Dollar Bill's Adventures. He loved watching Dollar Bill because he was so smart and always knew what to do. When the show was over, there was a commercial showing a shiny red bike, the Super Red Racer. It had a wire basket on the front to carry his books, a high seat like the ones on the bike races, and a place for a license plate. Junior thought of all the cool things he could do if he had this bike. I could ride this bike to school. I could take it over to Farmer Falzetti's farm and ride the trails. I could take my little sister, Rachel, for a ride. I could race all the other kids on the block. The announcer said the bike was on sale for $89. Junior ran up the stairs and into his room. He grabbed his piggy bank and shook it. Money began to fall out onto his bed. There were quarters and nickels, dimes and pennies too. Junior counted all his money. He had a total of $3.49. A long way from $89. Junior thought and thought about what he could do. How can I get that shiny red bike? All of a sudden, Junior had an idea. Dad loved to give Junior gifts. Maybe Dad would buy me this bike, thought Junior. Junior jumped off his bed and ran down the hall and into his parents' room. His dad was sleeping, but Junior couldn't wait. He tapped him on the shoulder and shook him ever so slightly until his dad rubbed his eyes and began to stretch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, good morning, Junior. You're up mighty early this morning, moaned his dad. <clears throat> yes, Dad, said Junior. I woke up very early this morning and started watching my favorite show, Dollar Bill's Adventures. That's nice, Junior. Now let me... Oh, Dad, I have to tell you about a brand new bike I just saw on TV. It's called the Super Red Racer. It's red with a basket in front and a place for a license plate with my name on it. And Dad, I really, really want this bike. It's only $89, and I thought... And I only have a little over $3, so I thought maybe you and Mom would get it for me, please? Now, Junior, you know your mother and I are not in the habit of buying things not in our budget, and $89 is a lot of money. No, your Mom and I will not buy this bike for you. But, Dad, said Junior, I don't see why. That's enough, Junior, said Dad. Yes, sir, said Junior. Junior walked out of his parents' room. He was very disappointed that he couldn't get the Super Red Racer. He went to his room and sat on his bed. He counted his money again, only $3.49. What could he do? How could he get $89 for the Super Red Racer? He thought and he thought, and then he asked, what would Dollar Bill do? And finally it came to him. Dollar Bill's grandma always says, the best place to go when you need money is to work. That's exactly what I'll do, declared Junior. I'll go to work. Later that day, Junior came to his parents as they were eating lunch and announced, I'm going to work. Well, Junior, said Dad, what a great idea. Whenever you want something that you don't have the money for, the best place to go is to work. That's what Dollar Bill's grandma always says, said Junior. She's a pretty start. She's pretty smart, Junior. What do you think you can do? asked Dad. I thought I would ask Farmer Falzetti if I could help him on his farm. I know he has chickens to feed and cows to milk. That would be worth something. So Junior walked up the street and over the hill to Farmer Falzetti's farm. He walked up to the door and knocked loudly. Farmer Falzetti came to the door. Well, hello, Junior. What are you doing on this fine Saturday afternoon? Looking for work, Farmer Falzetti, said Junior. <laughs> You're looking for work, said Farmer Falzetti. Yes, sir, I need to earn some money for a brand new shiny super red racer. Well, what kind of work do you think you can do? You know, it's not easy working on a farm. Well, I thought I could feed the chickens and maybe milk the cows. 
Farmer Falsetti began to laugh. Junior, have you ever tried to milk a cow? asked Farmer Falsetti. No, sir, but I know I can learn, said Junior with a determined look on his face. Farmer Falsetti agreed to hire Junior to work on his farm. They agreed that Junior would come every day after school and on Saturday mornings to feed the chickens, milk the cow, and slap the pigs. He would be paid $5 each day, which is $30 for the entire week of work. Wow, thought Junior. In just a few weeks, I'll have my own super red racer. Farmer Falsetti began to show Junior around the farm. They walked toward the chicken coop and opened the door. All of a sudden, chickens began to flap their wings and flutter around the room. Junior held his hands over his head. They're attacking me, yelled Junior. Farmer Falsetti began to laugh. No, Junior, explained Farmer Falsetti. They're just surprised to see you. They'll settle down. Farmer Falsetti grabbed a metal bucket, filled, filled it with feed, and began yelling, Here, chick, 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 here, chick, chick, chick. With his hand, he spread out the feed. The chickens pecked at the feed on the ground. Junior took the bucket and yelled, Here, chick, chick, here, chick. And the chickens ran toward Junior and pecked at the ground and even at his feet. Junior jumped back and began to laugh. This isn't so hard. You just have to keep your feet moving, said Junior. Next, they went down to the feeding trough. What's that awful smell, asked Junior. That's the food we feed the pigs, answered Farmer Falsetti. Every day, Mrs. Falsetti puts in the leftovers in this bag and brings it down to the trough. We add a little sour milk, and then we have slop to feed the pigs. They love it. You just dip in the bucket and pour it out. Here, Junior, give it a try, said Farmer Falsetti. Junior grabbed the bucket, took a deep breath, and held his nose. He dipped the bucket in the slop and poured it out for the pigs. The pigs came running and squealing. Oink, 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 oink. They were so happy to eat. Well, thought Junior, I guess that wasn't so bad. Now it was time to milk the cow. Junior had never milked a cow before. Farmer Falsetti led Junior into the barn toward Katie the cow. Moo, said Katie. Well, good afternoon, Katie, said Farmer Falsetti. I have someone to introduce you to. Katie turned her head around and looked straight at Junior. She didn't look very happy. Farmer Falsetti patted Katie on the backside and said, This is Junior, and he will be milking you today. So be kind, Katie. Katie mooed and swished her tail. Junior jumped. What's she doing, asked Junior. Oh, laughed Farmer Falsetti. She's just letting you know she's glad to see you. Here's what you do, Junior. Grab this stool and this bucket. Sit down right here under Katie and pull gently, like this. Katie will give you a whole bucket of milk. Give it a try. Junior sat down on the stool, reached with both hands, and began pulling. Katie swished her tail all the way around and swatted Junior right on the ear. Farmer Falsetti laughed out loud. Easy, Junior, he said. Just pull gently. Before long, Katie was filling the bucket full of sweet white milk. Junior grabbed the bucket and followed Farmer Falsetti up to the farmhouse. Nice job today, said Farmer Falsetti. I think you're going to be a great worker. Junior grinned. Yes, I will be a great worker, and soon I'll earn enough money to get my very own super red race. Every day after school, Junior walked over the hill to the farm and worked. He fed the chickens, being careful not to let them peck his shoes. He slopped the pigs, remembering to take a deep breath and hold his nose. He milked Katie the cow, always making sure he was extra gentle. And every Saturday, when he finished his work, Farmer Falsetti paid Junior $30. Every week, Junior poured all of his money out of his piggy bank and counted it. After the first week, he had $33.49. After the second week, he had $63.49. And finally, after his third full week of working on the Falsetti farm, Junior had $93.49. He grabbed all of his money and ran to his dad's room and announced, I'm ready to buy my super red racer. Fantastic, Junior, said his dad. Do you want to go right now? Absolutely, answered Junior. So they got in the car and drove to the store. Junior could hardly wait. He ran inside and plopped his money down on the counter. I'm here to buy the super red racer, Junior exclaimed to the cashier. The cashier counted out his money. Junior finally had enough for his own super red racer. As soon as they got home, his dad helped him put his bike together. 
first they put on the wheels and the handlebars, then they put on the really high seat like they have in the bike races, next they put on the chain and the wire basket, finally they put the license plate on the back. It said Junior. Junior jumped on his bike and rode through the neighborhood. He rode really, really fast on his shiny new super red racer. That night at dinner, Junior's dad told him how proud he was of him for working so hard to get his bike. Junior said, you know, Dad, there's a great place to go when you need money to work. The end. I hope you enjoyed this and enjoy the rest of your summer.